U.S. series about their military used to focus on doctors in MASH or lawyers in JAG. This year's are all about clandestine units like Valor and the Brave. The best is SEAL Team because David Boreanaz manages to express a wide range of emotions while bottling them all up. It's impressive. They're all propaganda in this sense. They assume the right of U.S. forces to go anywhere and do what they want. If you doubt that's propaganda, try to picture a show about Kenyan or Yemeni troops that sneak into Ohio or Texas to kill and kidnap. It's unthinkable. What makes the U.S. version thinkable? those shows. If they didn't exist, the U.S. would have to invent them to justify the expansion of their special forces. In recent years, they've done ops in 150 countries. That's over three-fourths of the world's nations. They need PR, especially when they're there illegally, like Syria. They weren't invited in the way the Russians were. Strike Back is the oldest of these shows. It includes some Brits, but they all now feature women fighters too. Strike Back's final shot this season was the team all firing cheerfully as they exit some foreign carnage. They're as untroubled as Bob Hope and Bing Crosby were in the old road movies. The road to Rio, Bali, Morocco. We're off on the road to Morocco. What's the secret of being such innocents abroad, as Mark Twain called them? Maybe just watch your own TV shows and movies. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.